Sorry for the mess behind, we're having some work done. But in my hands here, I have a very interesting little find. It's unopened, it's just arrived, and I'm going to open it in front of your eyes. So you are going to see this for the very first time, just like me. Right, I'm, I'm here, I'm in location. I need the package, obviously, here it is. I also need some scissors for opening, but crucially, I need some silver polish and a cloth. Right, here we go. Look, you see, totally and utterly unopened. So right in front of your eyes. Oh, it's got another package inside it. Okay, cards from my watch restorer, Adrian's Watch Repairs in Essex. Here we go, he's always very, very good. So I've seen this thing on a picture only. Oh, here we go, more wrapping. And I discovered it, funnily enough, at an antiques talk, but it wasn't one of these antiques talks that I give when, you, when people bring objects into the talk. This was an after dinner kind of stand-up talk and somebody said to me, I've got this old watch, I'm thinking it doesn't work. It's Amiga, it's steel, and I'm gonna give it away. Um, what do you think about it? There's my bill, hang on a minute. I'm gonna tell you about the bill in a minute. Um, and I said, don't give it away. It's a lovely watch, it's a rare little thing. Here we go, oh my God. Adrian's watch repairs down in Essex. Don't half wrap things up, here we go. Oh my goodness gracious me. Take a look at that. So the owner said to me, he thought it was steel. He's had it forever and it doesn't work. It isn't steel. It is solid silver, hallmarked silver. This is a very special watch from 1972. It's an Amiga DeVille, but it's designed by an Italian British chap called Andrew Greamer. Now, if you search online for Andrew Greamer, you will see that he was a jeweler to royalty, including our great Queen Elizabeth II. So Amiga employed Andrew Greamer in the 1960s, 1970s to design them a new range of really funky watches. And the great thing with this watch, I'm just gonna remove this one here, is that it screams the period it's from. And this is vitally important in the market today. This watch is shouting at you that it was made in 1972. Look at that. It's quite a big watch, 38 millimeters lengthwise. So for the 1970s, that was a big watch. And it's still good enough, big enough now to wear. So it wasn't working. It's got a lovely patinated face. Just take a look at that face. Wasn't working, so I sent it off to Adrian. So let's see what he's charged me now. The way I work with my restorers is that generally, you know, I, I don't particularly ask for a price. I know the watch needs restoring. It just has to be restored. So what has he done? Uh, solid silver bracelet watch, um, restore and repair new main spring. Well, I know that basically he would have gone through this like a soap dose of salt and it's cost me 360 pounds it will cost my client that so what i said to him was this let me have the watch let me sell it for you it'll be a nice little project it's a very rare little thing and we will restore it let's just give it a quick clean in front of your eyes and we'll get it sold look at that I mean, seriously, look at that grime. So a watch that was going to be given away to a charity shop, now there's nothing wrong with giving things to charity shops, by the way, it's all, all very good, but this thing would have been sold for a five or 10 or 20 quid to somebody, and it would have been sold very quickly, and it would have gone straight into the trade, and then it would have been sold for the price I'm gonna sell it for, which is 1,250 pounds for a absolutely charming, characterful, and funky, solid silver Amiga watch. Let me just show you how this thing will come up. 
I'm going to wear it, actually. I'm filming with Catherine Southern at the moment. So my client, is sort of, he, he, he won't mind. I'm going to wear it for a few days. Interesting enough, if you see something like this out and about and, and you, you want to know whether it was designed by Andrew Greener, take a look at that faceted crystal glass. It's big, it's chunky, it's very 70s, yes, but it is also very Andrew Greener. It's there to represent effectively a jewel because, of course, in his jewellery, he makes beautiful pieces with diamonds and pearls and gems. Sorry, I'm just absolutely admiring the colour of that silver. And that glass is effectively looking like a huge stepped diamond. So this will now work and it'll be offered with a 12-month guarantee. So there you have it. Isn't that lovely?